Hello, villagers. This is Code Kage Gara coming back to you with Showdown Sundays, bringing you Pokemon battles every Sunday from Pokemon Showdown. This is YouTube's favorite Kaze Kage. How you doing? And what is up? And today, my lovely villagers, I have for you another random battle. And you're probably sick of all the random battles. Well, Thanks to Pokemon Showdown servers not working right when I try to find an A tier battle. Well, here's our improvisions. Improv here's our improvisions right here. <laughs> um, um, soon maybe when the servers get fixed, we'll have uh tier battles ready to go with no problem and all that beautiful stuff. Um, but, um. This battle, it was a real good battle from start to finish. Uh, hopefully, I can get another battle with this guy again. If they have you do trainer touch, I'm not so sure. Um, some close calls here and there. We had what I we had what I like to call a most valuable move, the MVM, and you'll see why in a few seconds. Uh, but anywho, without further ado, villagers, let the battle begin. So, matchup number one, Karakasa versus Halucha. Naturally, that outspeed, I get hit with that high jump kick, and I miss the Stone Edge. I go for the Aqua Jet to give it some damage before I die. And high jump kick ends me. I go to Electros, he predicts the Thunderbolt by Sandy Wormadam. How often do you see one man Sandy, anyway? <laughs> um, I get Toxic. After the Giga Drain, I go into my love disc and I get there. He gets the Stealth Rocks up. I surf it, he survives it, and I get hit with another Toxic. And I switch, no, he switches, excuse me. I go for another Surf, critical hit, even though it didn't even matter because it would have survived regardless. Uh, I Sweet Kiss it to get into the confusion. He hurts himself, and I get hit by the poison damage. I toxic the Blastoise and he dragon tails me into Terrakia. And this is a bad matchup. So I switch into my Electros and I, he snaps out of confusion, gets hit with the, hits the Hydro Pump. I survive. I go for the Thunderbolt and I was a bit sketchy here because I thought he would switch into the Warman Amp Sandy, so I'm just in between two moves. I forgot what the, um, the move set of Electros was. Um, um, besides the Giga Drain, I, I probably would have gone. I was thinking like either Giga Drain or um, Thunderbolt, but he gets taken out. Uh, Sharpedo comes in, Sharpedo comes in, protect, and I get taken out by the toxic damage. The Braviary is roosting right now, as you can see here. Um, Dark Pulse, I get the, he gets the flinch on the first turn though. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I roost again. Here comes the Dark Pulse. I return it. And it, do, it does a real good damage. Uh, I return, yo. Hydro Pump almost checks me out. Return. You're gone. See you later, Sharpedo. He goes into Chandelure. I roost. And he goes into Substitute right here. So I go for the buck up, I believe. Yeah, I go for the buck up on this turn. He goes for the fire blast, and right here for a few turns, it's just buck up, fire blast, F bulk up, fire blast. I mean, no, excuse me, roost, fire blast. I poke up. <laughs> Hello, roost, fire blast, roost, fire blast, roost, fire blast, and then something amazing happens, and I believe the next two turns. Next two or three turns. Let's watch it unfold here. Roost. Shadow Ball. Okay. Shut me up. <laughs> Shadow Ball. I'm like, why are you using Shadow Ball for? So I bulk up. I guess he must have thought I was just pure flying and not normal flying. Shadow Ball me again. And and now I'm times to attack the fence. Brave Bird takes out the substitute. He Shadow Balls me again. And I Brave Bird the Chandelure out of commission. Goodbye. He goes into the Salamence right here. And Stone Edge. I survive it. Brave Bird. One shot to Salamence. Woo! That heavy recoil. 
We go to the Halucha. He outspeeds with the Stone Edge. I, th I figure I would go into another boost, but outspeeding is a thing. I jump kick one shots my Terrakion, so no Stone Edge. I probably should have gone into my Gengar to predict that high jump kick, but whatever. I thought he would at least survive it somewhat. Uh, I go into Shadow Ball. He takes out the Halucha. The Mega Shadow Ball, I should say. Warmer Dam Sandy comes out. Giga Drain. And he Earthquakes right here, which takes me out. I thought Mega Gengar gets Levitate, but I guess not. I'm going to have to look more into that. Going to love this. Surf takes out the Warmer Dam Sandy. And that's the end of the battle. I'm, I don't know why that Mega... Actually, I don't even know why the Gengar's still up there, man. <sighs> Fix your stuff, Beta. Fix your stuff. <laughs> um, but anywho, like I said, very good battle from start to finish. Some close calls here and there. Uh, Moose was the MVP right here, the MVM. We have each other the good games, you know, for the sports we should know that good stuff. Uh, anywho, villagers, that is it for today's video. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And share with all the other show doubters out there. Uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those social medias will be in the description box below. And also, don't forget to donate for the new 3DS capture card. In light of... Shoot, man. <sighs> I'm sorry. In light of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which is coming out in late November, all the new Megas is going to be involved. You already know. Um, if you follow my Twitter, then you should know that I planned on doing a blood lock challenge to it. So it'll be fantastic. Uh, also, be on the lookout for the new uh, Ruby Destiny video that's coming up. Uh, it should be up on Monday. It should be up on Monday, if not Tuesday, but hopefully Monday. Um, and also, I'm going to be bringing in something new to the channel in a few hours. So it'll probably be up possibly around midnight, somewhere in those wee hours. Wee hours until the Monday morning. Um, anywho, villagers, that's all the time we have. Thanks for watching, and stay on the ninja path.